Hello. Okay, so today I'm going to teach you a very complicated way. Well, it's really the only way to get credit on Steam while playing Halo. Okay, so gonna need to use some of the links I gave you. So first, there's one called Shell that app folder. So you need to copy that, open up File Explorer, and paste the code in there, and go to it. Press Enter. Okay, here are all your applications. So. You're going to have to right click File Explorer and open up another one. Go to this PC, Local C, but I already got Local C to work for me, so I'm going to use my D. You're going to need to right click. That's right. I Yeah, right click and click Folder. And name it Shortcut. Now that same shortcuts, you're going to need to go under, um, go into shortcuts. Under applications, you need to find your Halo Forge, which is right here. So drag it in to here. And then you can always, if you want to, it bugs me, so I do get rid of shortcuts name. Okay. You can get out of applications. Now. What you're going to need to do is make a bat file. So, I have provided the link here that you're going to need. But sometimes people want different like setups. By that what I mean is they want to use a different device. So, you that link may change. So, if you need to find out the correct location, which is under shortcuts, you go to file cmd open it up and drag forge in there and then there's the link that you will be using but for me this is the link I need because it's what I used okay now what you're gonna need to do is right click actually there's no notepad so you gotta click the start type notepad you're gonna need to paste that in there and you're also going to need one more code, which I forgot to add. So let me quickly grab that. You need to space down, double space and put pause null which keeps the application open so you click file now save as go under your device that you save short the shortcut folders to now you could name it the game so it's halo forge 5 or it's actually the other way around halo 5 forge and then you do dot bat, which is very important that you do that. Save it, and you can get out of there. Now, test the file. And for me, it works just fine. So, now I'm going to get out of the game. And this app command block here, once you close this, Steam stops recording your process. So, now that that's all set up, you need to convert it. So there's another link I provided in here which is the the HTTP download CNET file to convert bat to exe so you're gonna need to go under that to get it so for me I gotta copy it also make a new make a new tab right click say paste and download it. Now wherever it downloads you're gonna need to find out that location. Once it downloads go to the download location which for me is um downloads. And I already have taken it out of there because I've used it so many times. So 
for me, I'm going to have to go grab it out of my other folders. And it's going to be called slim bat to exe. Now, I got to go back to my shortcuts folder. Right click, paste that program in there. Open it up, express, find it on your device, which for me is my D drive. Click open, and once it's done, it will put it right there, and it's very fast. So now the final thing you need to do is go into Steam. So open up your Steam account. And what you need to do is add a game, say it's an add non-Steam game. Browse, go to the following location where it is. For me, it's my D drive. Shortcuts, and click the EXE file, open, add selected program, and then click play and there you go as you can see it says now you have an you are in a non steam game halo forge and you still get credit and then remember if you close out of that application command boom halo is gone all it opens though is the halo app but if you click halo play now it looks like you're playing that game so hey i hope this tutorial was helpful